You really should. It's fucking sick. It. So, Matt, what's your topic? Um. <laughs> wow. Just went right over my head because we were talking about that for a while. <laughs> You're used to being first. Yeah. I am used to being first. God. Was I gonna talk you forgot about? what you thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Came back. There we go. There, there we, we go. go. All right. Um, I miss good superhero games. I really do. Like, we we get them, but they're crap because they're terrible tie-in games. Yeah. yeah. Batman was the only exception. <laughs> yeah. Except Chris hated well, Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Bat- but Batman, Batman's like it anymore. I, well, I liked the gameplay of Batman. I just hated that love it involved. The tank? The, fucking, the um, Batmobile. The entire time. There's... That's the biggest complaint about that game. Like, I hated it. Batman doesn't have a fucking mobile tank. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm trying to think of, like, the game that broke the camel's back. You know? Like... The one where it's, like, a super like, bad... They're, like, they've all been terrible since then. And I think it's, like, honestly... Superhero... Uh, Superman? Not Superman 64. No, I'm talking about the Superman on the Xbox. There's that <laughs> one. And then, like, there's a few. Like, that one, the Iron, the first Iron Man game. Oh, God. Which is movie tie-in. That one um, was horrible. And you're sitting there shooting little dot people. Yeah. And uh, yeah. there was one other one. Batman Begins. I didn't even remember that one. But other they than made that, that, that were, one was actually okay, but it was it still sucked. Going like way back to like Super Nintendo, there were just an ass like when there when the classic cartoons were on TV, they were coming out with really awesome superhero games. Like True. there was um, I had this really fun Teenage one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh God. <laughs> there was uh there was a really fun one that I had on Super Nintendo um called War of the Gems where it was a side scroller and you had like an entire Marvel squad to pick from. It was like you could play as like Hulk, um Sabretooth, I think, Doctor Doom, hmm. a few other people, Wolverine, and it was it was really fun. Um I had the Carnage game, which the the cartridge was red. Carnage. I think um, I've played that. God, fucking Spider Man! I had a bat. I had a a Batman. Spider Man on the PlayStation. Yeah, that was. But the then, shit. like, yeah, like that moving up, Spider Man on PS One and N sixty four. I don't care what anybody Amazing. says. Spider Man three on the fucking Xbox was good. That one and two. That one was fucking fun. Two and three. Those games were awesome. Like three was fucking sick with the, like switching out with the, between the symbiote suit and like yeah, oh my god that was, it was cool. There was there was another one that, that wasn't, was my guilty uh, pleasure. It, it wasn't a tie in game. But um, honestly, it was like one of the last good superhero games, um, Spider-Man: Web of Shadows. Oh God, yeah, that game was yes. good. But I think I said this way back when in a podcast. Something that ruins open-world games. They did it in this game. What happens is part way through the story, everybody turns symbiote, and everybody's just a zombie. Now. Yeah. So I like human interaction. I like humans walking around. Like I like GTA for human interactions. Like. Yeah. Everybody's a zombie now, but it was still really fun. It's kind of like you know, just everybody's a fucking enemy. Just go um, like those, I, I don't like those types of open worlds. Um, I really liked Hulk Ultimate Destruction, and it was a tie. One. It was a movie tie-in game too to the second one they did with Edward Norton, and it was fucking awesome. I know I did play a Hulk game. It was probably that first one that was crap. The, the first one, <laughs> the one that just says Hulk. The yeah, based off the first movie. I, I, play, no. I don't think I played that one, but I did play the the second movie one, and it was awesome. It was really cool because it was, you could like tear down buildings and you could like grab cars and like make the car fists and it was it was crazy. Hmm. I'm trying to think of. Oh, it doesn't really happen that much anymore. I mean, just because people they don't really make. They're all terrible. Like, Green Lantern, terrible. Oh, the God. Thor game, terrible. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, what was it recently? Even what was it? I don't remember. Legend of Korra. I heard that game was good. I heard that it was a shit game. R- really? Yes. Well, I heard the game was bad, but I heard the show is like really good. Yeah, no, I'm talking about the game. Yeah. The show I, I heard, heard the that game was, was bad. I heard the, the show was actually pretty good. But people have told me to get into the show. It's pretty cool. Because apparently it was like five bucks and people have said it's not even worth five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch Last Airbender? Like the show? I watched a little bit and then I got bored. Like, 
bored, uh-huh. yeah, in a way. Well, well not really bored. It was just I didn't know what the fuck was happening anymore. And it was on TV, and I didn't really care to like, I got to know up. the characters, skipped a lot, came back to it, and... and well, that's the thing. Like, I think I would cool. watch it if it if it was on Netflix or something. I think it is. But, you know, like, when it was on TV, I didn't really... Yeah. Couldn't keep up. Like, you know, there'd be a new episode. I'm like, okay, who's this person? I don't know this guy. Mm. What's happening? Is this dude evil or bad or good? It's like, like watching a long-running anime series. Pretty much. Like, what, it, what, it really what, is. What's happening? What? Yeah. It's like, wait, what's happening now? Like, I, except for the, like, Batman. Like, I, I don't know. I hope that Rocksteady does, like, a, a gritty Superman one or something. Something, you know? Like, Which, okay. The thing is, though, I don't understand how they can do Superman because Superman is just so fucking OP. Like, that's not a fun game. Like, and then it'll be like the yeah. s- so simple. Maybe that's like, why they haven't done it. It's like okay, he can't die. Like, so like it'll be the stupid thing to where like oh, now everybody has kryptonite guns somehow. <laughs> everybody go kill Superman. The, the story's like, gonna be weird and jaded and. Um, I don't. I don't yeah. get. I mean, I don't really care about Superman that much. Marvel's anyway, got the. Marvel's got the. Cool. Um, the rights back to Spider Man now, so maybe just maybe finally we can get a good Spider Man game. It'll be a Lego. Spider-Man game. It'll be a Lego Spider-Man. God damn, why would yeah. you say that? Because have you seen Marvel yes. make a normal game? No. no. <laughs> it's been Lego. Yeah, like those are good games, they're but, good, like, but they're, they're, not they're not like, oh game. my god, this warrants $60. I, I wish that they would still give it to Beanox because they've done good jobs with like Spider-Man games. Like I love their Spider-Man, like um, Shattered Dimensions. That one was fucking good. Um, I didn't play that, that other one that they did. Um... What's it called? Is it the one web of not not web of shadows like time like I don't know something about shattering time time no, shatter something it, it's something to do with time again it but it had it's, to do with time like it but shat, like, shatter dimensions was fucking great because it had like um, the normal like Amazing Spider Man and then it had uh, two thousand ninety nine Batman and then it had Noir Batman you it was Spider Man. Batman. You said, you said Batman. <laughs> I got Batman, Batman. The band, yeah. I'm stuck on Batman. But yeah, Spider Man, like it was fucking sick. Um, I wonder if they're like that'd be so sick of Noir Batman. Right? Because like he's a detective, so you would be like you would be a detective. It'd be all game. dark and like it's already dark. Like that'd be I remember somebody cool. uh I remember seeing on Reddit a long time ago that would be where this guy idea right there, guys. Come on. This guy I don't know if he sent it in to anybody, but this guy had a concept for a game. He did it he did concept art and storyboard and everything for it. And it was a steampunk, um, steampunk detective Batman game. It was insane. See, I'm not big on steampunk. It looked really cool. <laughs> Let's do a Deadpool. There was a Deadpool. Yeah, do a, do another Deadpool game. That one yeah. was actually pretty good. Like it could have been better it. if it like you know played a little bit better. It's on PS4 and it's on sale right now. I should get it. <laughs> it's it's really fun and ridiculous, and it knows it's a game like you know because it's Deadpool. But it, it's fucking, it's ridiculous. Like, the combat, yeah, it's like, you know, whatever. Mm. But the story, like, it's Deadpool, it's funny, so I kept going and beat it. Like, it, that's mm-hmm. that was another game where it's like, you know, it's bad, but it's good. Right. And you just keep, you put up with the bad stuff just to get through the good stuff. <laughs> the ending gets get really it. weird, though. Like, I guess they didn't really know what to, how to beat that, like, finish that story. <laughs> 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 it was just... It was like going somewhere, and then it's like okay, <laughs> but it, it's really fucking good, and I'm excited for the movie. Yeah, yeah. fucking the movie's gonna yeah. be awesome. Movie's gonna be fucking. I can't sick. wait. So.